Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to my ambient occlusion tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a ambient occlusion map. Alright, so we're going to be using the same scene that we quickly created in the light map tutorial. So if you don't have that, go on ahead and jump over and do that tutorial real quick, or you can download the blend file. Alright. Um, to help us, uh, we could just render it and, you know, then overlay it, but that doesn't look as nice. So what I'm going to do is, or rather what we're going to do is, I am going to, first I'm going to rename this as light map. I'm going to move it down one on the texture. And I'm going to create a new texture, and I'm just going to call this one diffuse. Our type will be image, and I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to go to CG Textures, where I have a big list of tileable textures. And I'm just going to grab a quick concrete texture here. Alright, we don't see it yet, but we'll fix that in just a second. Alright, we're going to map this to the UV. Alright, this will uh, help us get a slightly better look of the ambient occlusion. And what it can do to a scene. Alright, I'm going to set the size to 3. And then I'm going to go to our light map. I'm going to change the blend from mix to overlay. And now, as you can see, our entire scene is there. And it's all nice and pretty. And we have our baked in shadows. All right. If you were to hit P, that would uh, set it into the Blender game engine. And then you can see it looks pretty good. All right. So now let's add in some ambient occlusion. So hit escape to get out of that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new texture, and I'm going to call this the AO map. And it will be an image. All right, new. I'm going to call this AO map. Oops. And it'll be a 2048 by 2048. Made a slight mistake. Forgot to hit OK. All right. So now I, we've turned our entire scene to dark, which obviously is because we haven't baked our image occlusion yet. Mapping. We'll set it to UV and we'll leave the tiling to one one one. All right. I'm going to split our viewport here. UV image editor. We don't want to use our render result. We want to use our AO map. All right. So now with our AO map selected, we'll go to our world properties, enable ambient occlusion, and we'll just leave this all at default. Then we'll go back over to our render, bake mode, ambient occlusion, and we'll just leave these all at default, but you can turn on normalize, however uh, it's not really needed for us right now. And then we'll just click bake. And then over here we can see it baking. All right, I'm going to uh, pause this really quick because sometimes this is going to take a while depending on how many samples. All right, so now you can see that our, now that our ambient occlusion, well now you can see it in our scene. I'm just going to get rid of that. All right, so it looks pretty good. The scene looks a lot nicer. However, we can't see the ambient occlusion along with our diffuse texture and our light map. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the materials and I'm going to turn the specular intensity down to uh, let's see, 0 0.2 I guess and a hardness of 250. Mostly because I used the concrete texture and it really doesn't have the specularity that high. I'm set it back to 0 0.1. All right. And now we're going to go back to our texture. And we are going to set our AO map to overlay. Okay, and then we are going to adjust the color. I'm going to set it down to 0 0.4, or you can set it lower, because at 1 it's a bit too strong. So we're just going to set this to 0 0.5, or 4, that's where I had it originally. Oops. All right. So now, if you go up to AO map, you can uncheck it, and you can see the differences it makes in your scene. 
and it's quite nice and you could you know save this and export it out and use it in your own game or whatever you happen to be using this for and you can see what it looks like inside the Blender game engine if you hit P. Alright, so that concludes this tutorial. Uh, thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to stop by the forums as well. If you'd like to follow me um, on Twitter, you can see what I'm doing as well. Uh, I set up an IRC. You can check the forums as well for that or the description. And you can stop by the IRC, which I will always be in 24-7 if you have any questions. Okay. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thank you.